Vlad was right. There are no choices. Nothing but a straight line. The illusion comes afterwards, when you ask why me, and what if. When you look back, see the branches, like a pruned bonsai tree, or a forked lightning. If you had done something differently, it wouldn't be you. It would be someone else looking back, asking a different set of questions. Showtime. I'll go down first. Cover me from here. There! Alert! They're here! Damn! Mona! Say again. I have her. Max, I'm going in. Damn. Blow it up! Blow it up now! I'll climb down. No, stay there. I'll take the first floor, you take the second. Okay. I'm not sure I can... Incoming! by cleansing cleaning products. I fled into the night. Behind me, in the darkness, the manor house burned like Nero's Rome. My Lord Valentine taught me who I was. He showed me life. The meaning of being a lady took me out to the world waiting beyond the secluded garden of my childhood home. He gave me the seed that grew into my greatest treasure. Mama, Mama! My little Valentine. It happened years ago, but I can still hear the voice of my Lord calling out to me, saying, My lady. My lady.
now. We work our way deeper into the building. Look for Woden or Vlad. All right. of all my friends. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm so glad we are together in this. Yes, sir. Woden and the Gold are in the panic room. All we need to do is get in. There is no rush. It's not like they are going anywhere. The explosives are in place, sir. We are going to make a beautiful exit. Woden's bodyguards had betrayed him and joined Vlad. There was still time. They hadn't gotten to him yet. The panic room was at the back of the manor. It's Saxon Payne. They're already inside. They're extremely dangerous. We need to stop them before- Mona was still on the case. Bending finale in our return to Sender Marathon, the last episode of Address Unknown ever. The poet Pool in his poem, Somebody's Been Wearing My Face Again, wrote, In this hall of mirrors, built by liars, I am a pale reflection of myself. I had escaped from the Pink Bird Mental Institute. I was lost in Noir, York City. I couldn't find my way back home. John Mira had made me a killer. I had become him, John Mira. Maybe I had always been him. John Mira? Yes, this is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. <laughs> <laughs>
Woden's in his panic room at the back of the manor. It's up ahead. See you there. Here, let me. This way. Mona knew the manor. She was working for Woden. Glad it told me the truth. Mona, wait. Stop. This is love. When someone drags you from the wreckage when you have given in, ready to just lie there and die. I told you not to come here. It's my job to clear up this mess and you're a part of it. Throw away your guns. This is love. When someone, no matter what the cost, shows you there is hope, a choice, that you can put down your gun. See? I can't do it. You're a bastard, Max. This is love. Love hurts. I was so looking forward to you two killing each other. Ah, oh, you can't have everything. I had been here before. Ground Zero. You are making me look incompetent by refusing to die. Stop. I am sorry. Enough! A bomb went off in my head. The bullet lodged in my brain moved to fatal, microscopic distance. Killing has gone too far. I have only begun. It's better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. You flatter yourself. Demented fool! I felt the rise of that old familiar feeling. I hated it. I welcomed it. Everything was clear again. No more ambiguities, no more questions. No gun when you need one. <coughs> one last thing left to do. I was compelled to give Vlad his gun back. One bullet at a time. He's behind me! Hold him off! And give me a gun! Oh, damn! Oh. We can still kiss and make up, Max! It's good Take that the women are he out of the off way! The bombs. They only the complicate panic room. To the panic room! They're gonna Kidding, blow! Kidding, of course! Say again. 
the fireworks! Enjoy yourself even a little! Face it, you might as well be dead already! Do yourself a favor! Give up! Hey! crime is to blame for the recent surge of violence throughout the city. Allegedly tied to the Valkyr scandal of 2001, these acts are thought to be part of the criminal underworld's vendetta against the New York City Police Department. Lieutenant Jim Bravora, who was leading the investigation, became a victim of a shooting earlier tonight. He remains in hospital care and is said to be in stable condition. The NYPD has been placed on full alert and according to our source, the guilty will be, quote, found and brought to justice, unquote. For NYNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. You've reached the voicemail of Senator Alfred Woden. Please leave a message. You have three new messages. Woden, Max Payne, we need to have a talk. You ask me, you still owe me. You have two new messages. Alfred, I told you this was a bad idea. I can understand your remorse, but this isn't helping Max. It's only making it worse. I'm not sure I can do this. I told you we had a history. I'm... I... Hell, I'm mad about this guy. I'm just not sure I can go through with this. You have one new message. I'm coming to kill you, old man. You really know how to piss me off, you know? Would it have killed you to say thank you for once in your life? To say, Vlad, my son. Can I call you my son? Because I sure do love you like one. Vlad, my son. You are a true prodigy. Everything you touch turns to gold. Oh, wait. It is going to kill you. I'm done doing your dirty work for you. You should be proud. I have learned all you've taught me. I'm coming to show you. You have no new messages.
You should be glad, Max. I did you a favor, finished off your revenge for you. The murderer of your loved ones is dead. You have wrecked my restaurant twice now. You can be so damn uncompromising, fanatical about these things, Max. One of these days, it's going to get you killed. Forgotten you? Everything all right down there? Ooh, is this the way you want to play it, cop? You want to be a bad boy, Max? You think you can outsmart me? supposed to be the hero. chance is to turn around and face it, but it's like kissing the lips of your dead love, darkness waiting in the hole of the mouth. We are willing to suffer to die for the things we care about, for love, for the right choices. Because of her, I had solved the case, my case, all of it, who I am. It's gonna be all right. Uh, <laughs> God, I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. She was dead. The bullet in her head had come to the end of its slow motion journey. Stay sharp. We're going in. Go, go, go! It is almost morning, waking up from the American dream. Jesus! My God! What the hell went on in here? They are all dead.
Now, like all my loves, she is mine forever. She has brought me here to this moment of clarity where time slows down and I choose to look back to see myself. And in that act of seeing, I am reborn. Down here! This way! There! You see? Oh my god! He's got a live one here! Detective Payne? He's still alive! We need a medic in here, now! He's still alive! I had a dream of my wife. She was dead. But it was all right. Such a late 